Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in Attila Total War. My name is Ben Pope. Here we are where we left off after we uh, fought the youths at Alabu and uh, decided to make it them a puppet state. We did that. I did that because I wanted to keep these. Uh, same with the Geats if you remember if you watched uh, from the beginning. I wanted to keep this area with the native tribes of the native nations and not take everyone out like uh like a lot, of, a lot of people do that just take everyone out and i could have you know i could have probably used the land but anyway i did that they're a puppet state they have an army left over here uh in fact two one and a half which they can use to do something with it um we took this land from them as well and we can go ahead and maybe try to take over the desolate land of Vesontio. Uh, or maybe go north and take these so we can have a um, more of a access to the sea. Our land is over here but next to the sea anyway. So we'll have to work on those two and also uh, looking at the wars we have going on. Actually let me go into diplomacy that's better. Looking at the wars we have going on, we are fighting Britain, which if I look at it, at their strength, 10. So they have a they have pretty good, pretty good, you know, something going on for them. They have those three regions there. Um, these are not important. The only other uh, is the Caledonians. They have strength rank, uh, ranking 8. So they're pretty strong. And then of course the Western and Eastern Romans, which we're going to have to watch for. The Western Romans have kind of disappeared from here. They just have land in South or now that's Northern Africa. It's not South Europe at all. They don't have anything here. Uh, Roman separatists seems to be, seem to be controlling what is left. What's not desolate. Poor region of Italia. Um, okay, so I think we should sort of make peaceful negotiations or something with all these guys so we don't have to fight them and um, continue our uh, conquest in the West a little bit. You know, even if we don't take everything over, we'll, we'll keep some, um, some allies and make some more puppet states or strappies. That's kind of the idea. So today I do I do think that we need to grab more land over in the region, in the province of Maxima Sequanorum. If you think I'm pronouncing it funny, that's because I'm just attempting to pronounce a Latin name. Which I should be doing okay at, but apparently it's been a while. So, yes. our, yeah, our forces are coming back. Uh, they're going to have to replenish there. And I think I have some mercenaries. Like you are a mercenary, you are a mercenary, and maybe I think anyone else a mercenary? I think that's it. All right, so you guys are mercenaries, so we are going to disband. Okay, so we'll have to get uh, other units there. Uh, I have some money. I can probably fix this other building yeah, repair that whatever it is chieftains hold that's good that'll, that'll work all right let's see if we can end the turn um perhaps soon enough we have to give people some skills so this will do recruitment um if we want to get down here we better hurry up and get these other things. Well, this guy has a lot for just being 28. He's doing good as a governor, I'm guessing. Can you... Oh, look. Construction costs. For sanitation buildings, why not? Okay, so let's give you... Um, oh, you have to get like all these three to get here. I keep forgetting that. Alright, this admiral um, could possibly use... I really don't know. I think we're going to give him one each over here. 
Uh, not that I'm gonna go raiding with him anytime soon. This general, he has that, he has, he could use this. He could use the integrity because he is over here. Uh, and the uh, veteran shall be able to, from now on, maybe assault a unit. Let's see, assault a foreign character. Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's get one of these each, so he can assault a unit, unit in the foreign army, and also sabotage a foreign army. Next, we can get uh, him to actually raid a settlement and call to arms. Sounds fun. Or trap an agent. That that should be good. All right, now I can end the turn. Yeah, I can end the turn now. I do thank you guys for tuning in. There is always a bit of an introduction to every episode because I want to make sure that you know where we stand and what's going to happen in this episode or what I'm going to attempt to get done in the episode. And it also kind of um, reminds me of where I'm at. I do look at what's going on beforehand, um, but I don't play a lot of these um, segments right uh, one after another. I usually take a day and play again or, or something like that. That's just because I don't have like, you know, six hours to sit down and just record. So I take an hour here and there whenever I can. Um, which is working okay for now, I think. I think I'm... Um, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> I humbly ask that my people's warriors may come and go in your lands, so that they may fall upon our joint enemies. Let's see, you are at war with the Romans and their lackeys. Uh, we are trading and we are defensive allies. Why don't we just do military allies? Uh, and that will just kind of give you the access, right? Uh, they want to... Yeah, whatever. Whatever, that'll work. I'll give him a hundred bucks or gold coins, whatnot. I think they're one of the nations that I could have join my empire as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. Hidden treasure. We found a large hoard of gold hidden in a cave while mining. What should we do with it? Well, um, it's... Yeah, that's I, I just did that. Unseasonal conditions. Alright, so we should take the money and... I don't want to ignore the issue. Uh, we can give it to the people. It, it, giving it to the army is good. Um, but it will just... I think it just helps with mercenaries. So the people um, should be good. That will, that will create like um, happiness and all that. Uh, mister, would you like to go find the wife, please? And all these kids. Look at all these kids that haven't grown up yet. Uh, there's a couple of 17 year olds. No, never mind. Those are all. That's just the one guy that I was collect, collect, uh, clicked on. All these guys are very young. Uh, this guy is insane. He's got like. How many stars do you have, sir? Two, four, six, seven. That's seven stars. Let's look at you. Um, he's a procrastinator. He's a governor. And. Got got a lot of bonuses. I uh, used to look at like overall. There's the rank. He'll be rank eight soon. Okay, enough of that. Um, I close this. Actually, let's go back there and see if it, if see if any, anyone could be any uh, assigned to any position there. It's like all these guys are assigned, you cannot. Uh, you can. So I'll make a companion. And you guys are okay. Okay. That all looks very good. Uh, what what happened? What what are we we were doing something? Okay, let's do. <laughs> let's put our dudes in the water and um, then they'll have to come down here on their own. Um. They'll <sighs> I say that, but then that's probably not the best thing to do anyway. 
Because, well, I need to recruit into the army and then move on. I, I want to move them towards Britain, um, if you believe. Because I'm, I'm guessing that's where um, I want to fight next. So this is not doing that good, and it's possibly because of what well, could be religion, it could be food. Um, what do we have? Woodcarver and Chieftain Hold. The woodcarver is nice because it gives us the onager and some archers, so that's not bad. Um, I'm guessing I, I really don't want to get rid of the Chieftain Hold. Because it's nice to have. Also get get the swordsman out of there. But um, there they are, noble Germanic swordsman. But yeah, I think grabbing this land. Or it's Octo Dorum is there. Gaul has it. There's a lot going on at Gaul. Looks like the uh, Saxons. What's the deal here? Are they fighting? If they are, the Saxons will win. Let's see. Diplomatic diplomacy. Gaul. Gaul is at war with the Saxons, so they should be fighting them. Um, if you hear that boop thing, that's something wrong with my motherboard. I noticed because it doesn't only do it with it. Seems to dis disconnect my mouse for a second. So. Uh, at this point, I, I'm just going to let it do its thing. Uh, hopefully, I'll manage to fix it with like a BIOS upgrade or flash, flash the BIOS, something like that. And if not, it will just keep doing that until I feel like buying a new motherboard. Um, right. Let's get out of there. Let's see if we can do anything in this zone. Uh, we need population surplus for that. And I think we're just waiting for We're just waiting, we're just waiting. Okay. Um uh, how about we get Can we get a crossbow unit? Not that I need a crossbow unit, but Hmm I have onagers here as well. How much is an onager per turn? One ninety four? Is it more useful than a crossbow unit? That's kind of what I'm looking at. Like, will it will it give me bonuses for? I need more security. You hear me? That's 172. We have two swordsmen. I think I'll just get a um, onager. I need something for public order there. And I think. If this land is okay, yes it is. There's nobody there watching it. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was looking, I was trying to look at Duna. So Duna does have someone watching it. Uh, we can upgrade two dikes. But I don't think it's needed. We still have plenty of uh, sanitation and this just promotes growth. Which we don't need anymore because I mean there's 11 left over anyway. So if I decide to to take over the land around, um, there's plenty of growth to dish out. Alright, let's see what everything happens at the end here. Um, gonna have to watch out for what's coming from the British Isles because those guys could be um, trying to do something left or right and since they want war I'm guessing they might they might actually attack me we'll see what we can accomplish here looks like the Western Romans are thinking about it they have priests and whatever that lady is I haven't played the Western Romans I don't know what what um, Asian to have as a lady. Could be a spy, huh? It doesn't look like a spy. Alright. Um, somebody has brought a gift from their people. 
in order that we may improve relations, engage in political de politics. Um, there will be no marriage, no love either. This man has failed to find a bride. So do I lose control as a nation? I don't know. I, that's that's kind of lame. Like you think that just because I guess marriage was a big deal back then. But um, okay, so he's gained office. It's good. Honor girl was recruited. Let's see if that helped our public order. It did. It's a plus one now, and this is also going to help our public order some, some somewhat. Uh, if it looks like I'm going to have to upgrade. food type buildings here as well um, this is a farm okay so if I was to upgrade this I would get more food and I would get looks like a, another garrison unit um, land unit upkeep, upkeep would be better so that's nice uh, squalor four. Let's see if we have enough. We have eight sanitation. Okay, so I might do that with that money, unless I need to do Western Roman Empire and the Huns negotiated peace. <whistles> All right, let's see if I need to do anything else um, here. I could upgrade the town, but I think we're good. I don't want to waste more food. I want to make more food. So we'll keep that as it is, uh, and here we can probably build here all sorts of stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna put a church there when we can. I'm guessing that the food over in uh, this would be useful too, but the food over. In uh, whatever region this is, Galatia. All right, let's uh, upgrade to the salt warehouse. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's do it. Wealth and food gain from there. Why don't you guys come over? Should be able to replenish. There you go. And then, yeah, I'm I'm guessing you can just do that next time. Okay, so we have a dude to deal him. Uh, if we accept um, the gift, it's a noble gesture. Their people are are sending us a gift. It could be a trick. We could be, you know. Um, Poisoned by whatever that is. Uh, but that's... You know, in a perfect world, you would accept a gift. Like that. And then not do anything with the gift. Like, don't give it to anybody. Don't let any of your kids touch it. Uh, have all your wise men look at it and make sure that it's not, you know, poison. Uh, this person is stupid. Wow. Um, yeah, you don't want, you know... To actually, uh, you don't want to actually take a gift that's bad for you in any way. So, uh, so you would test it. Uh, wow, what's going on here? Unfortunate parentage. So, uh, when close relatives become parents, the results can be unfortunate. Uh, looks like our hero is somewhat unfortunate. I don't know, I mean, his his sword there seems to be, like, glowing. It's got, like, a light. I think he's got an actual... Uh, he's got, like, the, the staff. Um, it's all magical. Like, um, it's not a sword. It's an actual, like, magic item. Okay, so let's call the arms, and... I can oppress, or raid settlement, or let's trap. Tactics, harass army. Uh, what's this? Sabotage walls. That sounds useful. So we'll go for that. Well, we'll do that. Done. Um, there. Ooh.
Yeah, so I was I was saying that in in ideally you would take the gift and test it. You know, have like one of your servants they don't care for um, eat the food, test the food, see if it's poison. Um, drink the wine before you do. Uh, you know, something like that. That's the, that's the kind of time that this this uh, historically that this setting is in. Of course. That's not the case here. We don't have that option, so we can just hold our fingers crossed or keep our fingers crossed. Um, it's like the geats are down there and they're having to fight people somehow. And uh, so our fingers are crossed. Hopefully, that gift we took is not bad. Nobody in the family gets killed. That would be terrible. Ooh. I do like the variety of nations we have here. Hidden treasure, oh. So the people are overjoyed and go on a spending spree in the settlement. So local trade is up in Duna and also contentment. They're happy and then they got wealth from commercial buildings. Which I don't even know if we have commercial buildings in Duna, but uh, there's still food shortage in Galatia. We're working on that. Somebody gained a loyalty point. Uh, the town is constructed and we encountered Africa. Can we trade with this new nation we encountered? Let's see. No, they don't have a port. Is there anyone that we can trade that are... Oh, maybe the Utes are... Utes? Jutes? Maybe they're happy God, enough to trade. Me listen to you, but do not pass the no. Day in words without merit. Uh, can we arrange a marriage? I can demand the sword maiden. Uh, I can. Hmm. Why don't I pay you for for this? With a uh, payment of two thirty-eight. No. Golly, how much is your woman worth? No. This is a very expensive lady. All right. Never mind then. Uh, I'm not going to give you that gift, I just was hoping to trade with you. And I'm not going to cancel Puppet State because it took me quite a bit to get that going. As you know. Alright. Get over here, man. We need to recruit a couple more units. Which I can't because I bloody moved with the... What's it called? Uh... Yeah, you know what I mean. Had to switch stands, stands from none, from the force march to none. So I'm force marching. I cannot recruit. All right. Do I want to upgrade these guys? It doesn't cost that much. Let's do that. Did I do it? Not possible. Okay. I'm confused. Ah, upgrade the horses. That's what it was. Okay. These guys I'm going to leave as is because it's like three times the price. Okay, let's see. That's being built. I really want to save up the money to get more more terrain, more terrain, more land. So that's one reason why I'm not spending it as much as I think I should. Um, how much would it cost me with this full army? Let's find out. I should be able to make it back here. 8,000. Okay, so do nothing. Go back for public order. And... What else can we do? Uh, these guys are mercenaries. Hopefully they're not too expensive. I totally forgot about them. Um, they're very much... Let's see. See, they were 163 a turn and they're about, about the same. So I could have kept them, really. Um, Archer, Marauders, Artillery, Crew... 
Let's get a couple of these and one of these, just so we have a fleet. Uh, now I'm spending money, obviously, I even noticed. I could use another... Agent... Military advisor. These guys kind of all look the same. Nah. Nah. Let's get him. Let's recruit him. And we will move him this way for... We're gonna spy with him. We're gonna move him here for spying purposes, alright? Nobody's gonna care, really. Uh, Almeric does have a skill. We're we'll probably doing about the same thing we did with the other guy. Let's go one more turn. Um, of course, if I would have kept that money, I would have probably had enough to um, capture new territory and you know, get that accomplished. But I think we got a couple of things accomplished today. I think we did. I do hope the Utes and the Geats are able to be a useful nation, even though they have to pay me some money every turn. They should be able to grab land and expand, which the, the Geats have, they have done that. And they're over there like fighting in Africa. Good for them, right? Good for them indeed. Um peace from us should not be spurned. Now, what say you? You know what? I let's see. Uh, I'll 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 take some money for it. Let's see, a thousand? Maybe more. Maybe if, if a thousand's Oh, you okay. Well, I'm being greedy, but 750. Alright. No Still high. Accepted. 1500. Peace. Alright. So my uh, my puppet stays the Geats and the Utes have also declared peace or negotiated peace because it comes together. Alright, so a um, noble birth has happened. That's good. I failed to be at war with Hispania, which I wasn't really, you know. Ooh, look, good. Um, so, so she's not the best wife, but I think it's a good thing anyway. I don't know why the blessing thing. I don't know why giving blessing would, would make me lose control. I really don't know. And I, I also don't like that I can't like go off the screen and uh, check to see who this guy is and decide if I want him to marry or not. But apparently his family, so I don't know. Um, you know what, I'll just do it. I, not the best wife. She's a harridan. Mother always said I was too good for you. Poor mother. So um, there's a chance that they'll have illegitimate children but you know what at least there will be children that's kind of my my thoughts all right mister you move where are you moving move over there I'm starving. <laughs> get your own food man okay recruit units well uh, let's see, we have plenty of skirmishers. We could use maybe, we have, we have five units of swords. Um, maybe I could do another spearman for the front line. And maybe another sword. What do you think? I have three cav. I could do another cav. Horsemen are good. Barb lancers are good. Um, uh, 
Do I have a Lancer? I have a Lancer. Germanic Lancer. How about a Raider? I could do a Raider. They're um, more expensive. And I don't know. I don't really need it. I think... I think another sword you need for like the grind it, the grind it out part. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Um, so we've negotiated peace. Let's see if the youths will trade today. We tried yesterday and they didn't want to trade. I'm guessing they will say no. Okay, let's try see if Britain feel like they want to trade speak your speech so that i may go to the baths and wash away today's stench i'm sorry you wanted peace i don't see why the rude words well eventually we'll be able to trade with these guys uh, but they're just not very open to it Gods will have me listen to you do not pass the mm, same with these guys and I've, I've tried it you know plenty of times I offer the money and they're like oh no I don't think so um, so yeah we'll just leave that as it is let's check for any thing we can do this is growing really slowly um, but what can I do really what can I really do? I guess I could upgrade the towns over there. They'll make growth better. But we want to hold on to our money because I really want to grab... Get not that land. Get this land. I think I went over there and checked. Let's see how much this is. 884. So 8,800. Okay. So next turn, we can do that. But uh, we will end today's episode because of time. Uh, we don't want to drag it on for too long. And hopefully you guys weren't bored. I'm, I'm sure I've blabbed on enough about things. I uh, didn't get much done. But that's just life on, on the Total War. Uh, screen I guess sometimes you don't get to do all the things you want to do uh, so how about that come back next time we'll take over some new land and we'll um, march our forces possibly still north because the Caledonians are still at war with us um, we'll see I'll have to decide on that the Britons have asked for peace before and declared war again so they might repeat that. Uh, in, in which case, we're just not going to bother with them. We're just going to go take them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please do hit the like button, comment. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like the content that I have, please do subscribe. And hopefully you stay subscribed. That's, that's the biggest challenge for a lot of YouTubers is people are like, yeah, this looks cool. And then they get bored and, and leave. Give it a chance, people. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.